Welcome to Area Mapper Tutorial. A retailer in North America wants to improve the distribution channel. The goal is to get the full visibility of sales areas, and to better understand customer distribution across those regions, and as a result, identify changes in demand and potential opportunities. The main questions to be answered. Which customer belongs to which area? How much revenue the company generates in each area? What are the most productive areas? To answer these questions, we will use the Area Mapper. It is a great tool for mapping your customers' locations with your sales areas. Alright, to get started, let's import external data. Great! In this sheet, please define your areas. As you can see, each area is defined by a unique name, country and region. In the sheet customers, please fill the locations of the customers you want to map with your areas. Each location is described by a unique name, country, state, zip code, city and street name. In addition, Please fill out the quantity field that stands for the importance of the location, for example, you can use your sales figures. Now, it is time to jump right into our tool. Welcome to our apps portfolio. Let's go to the area mapper. If you are not sure what this app is doing, by clicking on this more info icon, you can find more information about it on our website. Click on this symbol to watch a YouTube tutorial of it. Here you can choose to go in with the addresses or latitude and longitude coordinates. In the first step, input data, an user typically generate template to understand what data structure is needed to work with an app. In every table, cells marked with red color are mandatory to fill. Therefore, please make sure that red columns in your table have the same title as in the template. If you click on this more info icon, you can get a description of the current app and columns to be filled. Here you can also see which columns are mandatory, recommended or optional. This green check symbol show you what columns you have. Ok, to do calculations, we need to connect these tables to our app via this link symbol. Simply select the relevant table and press OK. Alright, let's do the calculation now. Great! In output data we have all the results. You can download them individually, by clicking on this download button or, you can export them all to the new sheet. The first table, mapping result, shows us which customer belongs to which area. The first three columns include areas details, while the rest of the columns are about customers including their names, locations and quantities. In the second table, Area Details, we can find more information about each area, including the total quantity and the number of customers belonging to it. The third table shows customers without mapping, being empty means that all our customers are successfully mapped. The last step is the most interesting, visualizing the results. Fully customizable and interactive map. Enjoy! Here in the right corner, you can customize the data. You can hide and unhide all the layers at once, or individually. 
By clicking on this edit button, you can change the sizes, colors and transparency levels of each layer. In settings, you can change the map style. Choose between the satellite, light mode, strategic, dark mode or street level map. On the left side of the screen, there are shortcuts to multiple functions. We can also visualize the results through the dashboard. Here we have details of customers per each area. What we have achieved today. First, we successfully showed which customer belongs to which area. On the interactive map and an Excel sheet, we provided revenues by sales areas. Finally, based on calculated sales data, we can identify the most productive areas. Now, it is time for you to practice. We hope you enjoyed today's session.